Shalom. Call Halaimla Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekal Kadash. All praises be to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, The Women Shall Mourn Having No Husbands. So it's going to get rough. This society is going to collapse. That's why Revelations chapter 14 tell us that I heard another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. Let's go ahead and get that scripture. I think it's Revelations 14. <clears throat> so this society is going to collapse. Revelations 14, verse 8. And there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So this society is going to collapse, and there's going to be infighting, instability, race riots, civil war, insurrections, Revelations 18, verse 2. Let's go to verse 1. And now that these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and it's become a habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So this place is going to be laid waste, desolate, because of iniquity, wickedness, which is sin. So we're going to let this video play and it's going to show you a small example of a system that fails, a system that its citizens cannot depend on. So we're going to show you that. Or a so-called black woman tried to call 911 and a lot of women have ran the man out of the household calling 1-800-CAVEMAN getting the man kicked out of the house so that luxury is getting ready to go away when this system fails you're not going to have the luxury of dialing 911 caveman assistance all that is going away so let's play the video. Let's continue. It was about a week after Durham stopped sending calls to Raleigh because they said they had enough 911 operators to handle the call volume. CBS 17's Crystal Price looking into why her call wasn't answered. And Crystal, what did you find out? Well, the city says she called during a time when they were experiencing a surge of calls here at the Durham 911 call center. Now, while the city says someone eventually would have answered, she argues they should have answered immediately. 
I heard a rapid fire of gunshots. Charlita Burris woke up to gunfire early Saturday morning around 4 a.m. It wasn't until the next day when she saw several shell casings outside her home. She then called 911 to report it. Oh, I tried to dial 911. Nobody answered. Nobody answered. She says it rang for over a minute. And then she gave up and called the non emergency line instead and couldn't get a hold of anyone over there either. She says she was finally able to get an officer after she happened to see one driving by her complex. I was in my vehicle. I blowed my horn, chased them down, and told them to come back. That's how I got the police. Should it be that way? No, it should not, never. I reached out to the city to find out why no one answered her call. The city says Burris called during a time where there was a high volume of calls. And if she had stayed on the line, someone would have answered her call eventually. On Saturday, they said 97% of calls were answered within 60 seconds or less. According to North Carolina State Code, 90% of calls should be answered within 10 seconds, and 95% of calls should be answered in 20 seconds. Knowing that some of those calls are not going to be answered within 60 seconds, is that acceptable? The, the, those targets are targets that all 911 centers strive to meet. Those are absolutely our targets. Uh, that's an average over time. So some, some calls are going to be longer than that. Durham Deputy City Manager Bo Ferguson says they are still down 26 positions at the 911 call center. And their top priority is to get those filled. Uh, obviously, every every call taker gives us more capacity and, and takes a little bit of burden off the folks on the floor. So we're very committed to getting those positions filled. So it's going to get real out here. We're seeing a defunding in the police forces around the United States. Detroit, Chicago, Philadelphia, Fairfax County, Virginia, Seattle. So many women are going to be in absolute terror. You've been taught in a system built on white supremacy and feminism that you don't need a man. Remember that? All that is going to get flushed down the toilet. Miss Independent, straight savages are going to be unleashed in the streets. Murderers, rapists, gangbangers, child molesters, pedophiles, thieves, thieves, sodomites, all hell is going to break loose and many women are going to learn the hard way you've been lied to miss independent i don't need a man we'll see you're gonna to learn today let's go into the bible let's go here first second address 15 Verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. So these are weapons or instruments of war. And in today's time, Firearms, rifles, handguns. So Ezra is describing this based on a vision. So he's using ancient terminology to describe modern times. Second Ezra 15, verse 14 again. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard. See, this is house to house fighting, going door to door, Stealing 
their neighbors' goods and supplies, fuel, ammunition, food, water, clothing. Second Amendment 15, verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they're going to be shooting at martial law troops, Gurkha troops, federal troops, state troopers, local police officers. They're not going to regard the mayor, the governor, nor the commander in chief. This is going to be a full blown insurrection or SHTF. The poop is going to hit the fan. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Military checkpoints, police checkpoints, danger zones. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So rape, robbery, murder, and pillaging is going to be out of control, off the charts. So this is a breakdown in society. Total economic social collapse. Let's read that again. Verse 18. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Now, we just read men are going to be afraid. What about you independent women? Don't need a man. You've been listening to lies, and you have bought in to the deception. Under Esau, the Bible says the devil will deceive the whole world in Revelations 12. Devil means Diablos, comes from the Greek Diablos, which means slanderer, false accuser, or deceiver. So you've been deceived. You're going to be looking for a man of the Lord in that day. Why? For protection, a security blanket. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So tribulation, this is describing Jacob's trouble. So Jacob is going to become the main target in the crosshairs. But this tribulation is going to also affect the other nations. Let's read it again. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All hell is going to break loose or the shit is going to hit the fan. S-H-T-F. You're going to need a man. More specifically, a man of the Lord. Let's go to Second Edges 16, verse 31. Even so, in those days, 
there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. So this is door-to-door -door raids by thugs, Gurkha troops, federal troops, United Nations or UN troops. Everybody is going to be armed in that day. It's going to look like the old wild, wild west. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword, and the earth shall be laid waste, and fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. So they show this in I Am Legend. A desolate New York City, a desolate America. So, this place is going to become a battlefield, a battleground, turf wars, neighborhood and street battles. It's going to be a mess. Verse 33 The virgins shall mourn. Having no bridegrooms, the women shall mourn, having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Why you think Isaiah 4 and 1 says in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Armageddon is going to kill your men, or the Third World War. Race riots, biohazards, or biowarfare, FEMA caps, infighting, battles in the streets, machine gun fights. So this is going to be a full-scale insurrection. So you're going to have many women to one man. The Most High does not make mistakes in his word. Let's read that again. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. So if war don't kill your husband, famine is, or race riots, civil wars. Matter of fact, let's go here. Let's go to Isaiah 4, verse 1. So many men are going to die because of the great tribulation that's going to come upon the earth. Isaiah 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, to take away shame, to take away embarrassment, to take away fear. So a man of the Lord is going to be, matter of fact, let's get that. Isaiah 13, somewhere around verse 15. The book of Isaiah chapter 13 Verse 12, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So a man is going to be worth more than gold. So you're going to be looking for security, protection, peace of mind, 
Let's go to Isaiah 32. And one. The book of Isaiah chapter 32. Verse one. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. These are the men of the tabernacle of David under Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord of lords and king of kings. Verse two, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So a man of the Lord is going to be like seeing an oasis in the desert. He's going to be like a great rush of water. Let's read that again. And protection from the great destruction and massive bloodshed on the earth. Verse 2, And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So a nice cool glass of water that's how valuable the men of the Lord are going to be in that day. So what Isaiah 4 is describing are massive women grabbing hold of one man, saying, we will cook, we will clean, we will make our own clothes. Only let us be joined unto you. Be married unto you to take on your name. Where else do we want to go? Yeah, let's close out here. Isaiah 32. Wait a minute, let's go back to this video. Because this should serve as a wake up call. You've been lied to. Talking about you don't need a man. We'll see. Outside her home. She then called 911 to report it. Oh, I tried to dial 911. Nobody answered. Nobody answered. She says it rang for over a minute. And then she gave up and called the non-emergency line instead and couldn't get a hold of anyone over there either. She says she was finally able to get an officer after she happened to see one driving by her complex. I was in my vehicle. I blowed my horn, chased him down, and told him to come back. That's how I got the police. Should it be that way? No, it should not, never. I reached out and to what if you're to being attacked? No one answered her. What do you do then? So, when this place begins to fall, fracture, when it begins to be torn apart, it's already being spiritually torn apart. But the police are not going to be there. You're not going to see that hedge that you're accustomed to. The vintage shall fail. All the fine whining and dining. The luxuries being put on the same level as your men. All of that is going to fail. Let's go to Isaiah 32, verse 9. So Esau promoted feminism and women's liberation, which messed a lot of you women's minds up and destroyed our households. Our families are torn apart. Feminism, white supremacy, women's liberation movement. Look up Gloria Steinem. A devil. Let's go to Isaiah 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years 
shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful wine. So this metropolis, this luxury, you're going to see dissipate or fall apart. It's going to fade away. All that privilege is going to be gone. Safety, security, 1-800-CAVEMAN. All of that is going to disappear. Let's look up this word vintage. Vintage. So right now, you're careless in your security under the walls of Babylon. Vintage comes from the Hebrew Strong's H twelve ten. But see it. But see it. So vintage is getting after that fine wining and dining. High quality of life. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna look up vintage. Vintage. See? Wine or relating to or produce in a particular vintage. Classic, enduring fashion. Or it's talking about that high quality of life. Old time. Old school. So in this context, it's talking about this luxurious lifestyle. Because America is described as what? Let's get more on that to gain further understanding. We're going to go to Jeremiah 49. I think it's verse 31. Jeremiah 49, verse 31. Arise, get you up unto the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care, saith the Lord, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. So that's that custom lifestyle. Classic. Give me that old time religion. So the old way that you've grown accustomed to here, which is not the right way. Let's go back. So we'll go ahead and close out there. Isaiah 32 verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. You're not going to be able to call 911 caveman or 1-800-beast assistance under the thought of Babylon. You're not going to be able to do that. That luxury is going to be stripped away. Verse 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Bear your clothing. Mourning. Sorrow. Massive death and the spirit of death is going to be in the air. They shall lament for the teats, 
for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful wine. So this metropolis, that great city, that mighty city, Babylon, is going to be taken down with great violence. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Kakadash. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. The women shall mourn, having no husbands. We got next, Lord willing, Kwame Yasharala, and the Bible bow. Barak a thumb. Shalom.